Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is the 12th of February, 2023. Let's break down Lucid real quick because this may be bad. Now, for those who don't understand, it is going to be bad. But for us, it's not bad because we've already explained what we were looking forward to in Lucid anyway. You guys can see it in front of you. I did a price prediction in Lucid on the 5th of February. It is the 12th, playing the downside move in Lucid. I told you that if price doesn't hold 11, that price is going to continue to dip. And here we are today. You guys can see that the market in Lucid on the last trade of Friday last uh, Friday last week, the last day of trading, came and hit our ultimate TP price, which is around 10 bucks. We're at a crossroads now. We need to talk about this price action in Lucid to see if we're going to get the buyers now to come and loosen on this trend line. They need to. Is this a buying point now in Lucid? I'm going to show you from a weekly chart that that may not be the case. Don't get swindled into the news or information that you guys see from other people, other websites. Pay attention to the charts because charts don't lie. If you ever heard that, if you haven't heard that before, you heard it here first. Charts don't lie. We only follow the money. And currently in Lucid, it looks like the majority of the market participants are selling and they are buying the stock. Congratulations to those who was able to grab that 14.63% out the market because we told you all about it on the 5th of February. Now, let's get to it. We're going to pay attention on this video to Lucid holding the trend line. What are the probable chances? Is it a high chance that buyers are going to come in Lucid this trading week to keep the price propped up and hold the line? Because if that's the case, then we can safely say that it's pretty good that Lucid is going to go higher. But what if it breaks that trend line? Then obviously charts don't lie. We need to expect prices to go lower. Let's break this down real quick. Here it is on the three week chart. So we're going to start on the three week chart because it is now over. Look at that. Volume definitely came into the market in Lucid on the conclusion of this three weekly price bar. Charts don't lie. If the market in Lucid was truly bullish, if the demand for the stock was really coming in, understand price will not close down here off of the highs. The high over the last three weeks ran to 18 bucks. If there was still demand in this stock, market would have closed up there, but it didn't. That's weakness. That is selling. Whenever you see a price bar like that, that's an automatic dead giveaway that more people were selling than there were people willing to buy. Two weeks. This is even more confirmation that this two week price bar to when Lucid ran up to $18, closed off the highs. This completed two week price bar is still telling us that the sellers are still present. And not only that, we closed down here towards the low end of this two week price bar on top of the trend line. Now, what about the weekly? You guys can tell the confirmation gives us everything we need to know. Right here, we're getting confirmation that there's still sellers in the market. Like, I don't understand what makes it so difficult for individuals to just pay attention to the information off the chart. Here it is on the five day. Take a look at Lucid on the three day. Take a look at Lucid on the two day time frame. Now, I think we got a little bit lower to go, right? I'm not going to be doom and gloom. I'm not that type of individual. I'm realistic. I pay attention to the information that is created on the charts and try to gauge how low the market can react and go from there. So I'm not going to say that losers is going to round down to $3 or $2. Not yet. But I do suspect that we're going to break this trend line though. Now we got earnings coming up in Lucid on February the 22nd. Okay, so we got 10 days. We may see price and lucid drift all the way up to earnings. And then if the earnings come out good, the market will run back up. Because that's the current sentiment of the market is drifting, is we're going lower. Now, my eyes as to my first target to where lucid can run, it's going to be like $9.30. $9 will be my second level. Yeah, I'm not looking for price in Lucid to hold that. Now, I'm not looking for a lot of volatility, though, right? Like this volatility that came in on this trading day, I'm not looking for anything like that. 
on the 27th. I'm not looking for that. If anything, I'm looking for these very small daily time frames price actions like these daily price bars here where you don't get a lot of momentum. The market is just going to simply drift. We're not going to get very widespread price bars. I'm not looking for anything of that magnitude. So let me go ahead and show you what we're working with and loose. I think that there's still a little bit more weakness into the market. And uh, we now understand that since price has fell below 11 bucks, that that area would be resistance now. OK, so we're going to look at $11 being our area resistance price breaks back up above $11. Then guess what? The buyers are now back on the table and they're going to try to continue to move the market up. OK, so my thesis right now would be Lucid is going to break the trend line to the downside. And my first target is going to be $9.30. So let me bring it up there. It's my first target. That is 7.29% move to the downside from the last trade of Friday. $9.29. My second target is going to be nine bucks. That is like 10 and a quarter percent move to the downside in Lucid there. $9. Okay. Now I, I think I think I may just leave it there. In Lucid. Or I may want to bring it down to like $8.60. So I'll bring my third areas down to $8.60. That is 13.97%. $8.62 around that area is where I'm looking at. Okay. So those are my targets. Uh, $9.30, $9.62 is what I'm looking at. And from that point, uh, we begin to see some more buyers enter the market. Then again, we may just see the market elusive consolidate. But give me your thoughts. Let me know what do you guys think about Lucid, because I know a lot of this information, a lot of this volatility that occurred in Lucid was off of the Saudi Arabian PIP fund coming in and trying to take it private, try to do like a hostile takeover bid, you know, try to buy all the shares out of Lucid so that they could be the owners. You guys can see from the price action that that's not believable. I was even telling you then in my prior video that that was all rumors and gossip. Don't follow that information. Pay attention to the charts. Obviously, the market is not believing it because if they were, then the value of the stock in Lucid would also be higher today. But instead, the price has gone down. Yes. So maybe this could be a teachable lesson to those who like to follow information that they get on Twitter or other websites or other you know mainstream media tools. Always make sure that what you pick up from these other places that it matches the charts. If it doesn't match the charts, then they are wrong, period. If what people are telling you doesn't match the price action of the chart, they are wrong. Because charts don't lie. Charts is the truth. Because you cannot renege on what you do in terms of buying and selling a stock. You cannot take it back. It's recorded. So when you come in and hit that buy button in Lucid, guess what? Your transaction has been recorded on the charts. And we can see it. Everybody can see it. So like if Warren Buffett comes in and buy Lucid stock, we can see his transaction. If Kathy Wood came in and bought Lucid stock, we can see her transaction. It's all recorded off of the spread of the price bar right alongside with the volume bars somebody right here on when that news broke in lucid on the 27th of january came in and played with all that high volume that came through they came in and participated right now there's only two activities that you can do in the market two that's it you can only do two things buy or sell so with all of that high volume that came in, we can safely presume that it was a big institution. It might have even been that Saudi Arabian fund because Lucy's price has gone down substantially. They needed some type of catalyst, some type of rumor, some type of gossip to spruce up the price so that they can at least minimize their losses or 
at least come out with a small profit. That is exactly what occurred on that day. A big institution came in and sold their stake and off the information off of the hype that you guys see on YouTube people bought it and that's the type of environment that we deal with in the stock market don't get swayed don't get persuaded on what people say or what you read look at the charts all right so I'm done give me your thoughts Make sure you maintain profitability, and as always, trade different.